Hi, we are Daniel Holt, Xiao Mei, and Lucian Soares, and we welcome you to 2021 3D UI Contest Fast Forward that presents 3D UI Contest projects. This year, we have 17 projects selected among 25 submissions. Those projects are exhibited in Expo Hall A, and the authors will be available today at the booths at 2 p.m. Lisbon time to answer any questions and present their projects. The theme of this year was the COVID-19 pandemic. Projects had to directly or indirectly help to manage and cope with the pandemic situation in indirect or indirect fashions with their 3D user interface projects. Please do not forget to vote for your favorite projects. The link will be presented at the end of this presentation. Please enjoy the presentation. The teams look forward to welcoming you in their booth. Dr. Super is a virtual reality gamified experience aiming to educate medical personnel and the layman regarding the successful execution of the intubation procedure and ventilator troubleshooting actions. Our implementation places the end user into a simulated intensive care unit where he or she is able to learn about these processes and apply that knowledge into practice. Hello, we are pleased to present you Rebirth 20. We live after the COVID-19 and keep preventing against it. The application is composed of two parts, prevention and exercise. The prevention allows to learn about the virus and stop it the spread. The exercises are intended to help people who have been infected. Three types of exercise I proposed. Physical training, briefing and relaxation. From exercise designed by the medical sector. Thank you. The PICRIC protest is a geolocation AR app. We aim to support the civil rights movement in showing case how black people fight for equality. We applied 3D models and animations to recreate the three most dramatic confrontations and designed a timeline to integrate several valuable archived historical videos and images. Besides, this app will also help students study remotely and independently during the COVID-19 pandemic. This paper presents a web-based virtual tour pipeline to allow organizations developing a virtual tour experience rapidly, which integrates a 3D environment with avatars to provide visitors with a shareable space. Users from an organization with minimal coding experience can develop a low-cost web-based virtual tour using a 360 camera, the software framework, and the documentation directly from the GitHub repository. Hello, we present an alternative to video conferencing that allows enriching the conversation by the sense of others' proximity. Each user requires two mobile devices. The first one captures binaural audio and head and hand movements. The second, inside a cardboard head-mounted display, renders an avatar and reproduces a stereo sound. This is a low cost and easy access strategy to extend reality, because physical distancing is not a synonym of social distancing. Recent events have resulted in the need to provide quality educational lessons remotely. Informed by slide-based presentation programs, Virtual Demonstrator draws analogy to elements such as text fields, shapes, and slides. The backbone of Virtual Demonstrator is its timeline system, which expands a 3D sandbox application into a temporal design space. We present a remote adversarial virtual reality game that simulates COVID-19 infection spread and protection protocols inside the 3D environment. The game visualizes the results and effects of the transmission on NPCs walking around the supermarket. The two opponent players can be informed about the different directions of the airborne virus transmission and the safety guidelines while trying to achieve their goals respectively. 
Real-time simulation results are visualized for educational purposes, while in-game challenges provide additional information about the virus. Virtual reality system for invasive therapy is a system to help doctors plan invasive therapies by risk estimation, navigation, and realization. Which path should you use to implant a probe into the patient's body? How close is this path to the optimal endpoint? Our system helps doctors to retrieve this risk information. Our system has possible applications in COVID-19 invasive ventilation treatment and deep brain stimulation. In this paper, we present the old, real-time, multi-peer immersive communication system. Basically, it allows capturing and streaming of local scenario by using a simple audio setup and 360 video camera. Remote immersive users can join the experience by using their head-mounted devices. Other users can join the experience easily as well by using other devices such as a tablet, a laptop, or basically their smartphone. Hi, my name is Daniel and it is a pleasure to present you our project, Real-Time Mixed Reality Teleconsultation for Intensive Care Units in Pandemic Situations. We present a remote teleconsultation system with avatar embodiment, where remote experts can join a local, fully reconstructed COVID-19 ICU station via virtual reality. The remote experts have access to the local patient data and can guide local experts via augmented reality and synchronized annotations. This way, personal traffic and potential health and safety risks are reduced in the pandemic situation. Based on the immunology concepts from vaccine working mechanisms, targeted immunotherapies, and an inspiration from the classic science fiction movie, Fantastic Voyage, we set our narratives inside a lymph node of the human body, where a user drives a nanobot to deliver COVID-19 vaccine particles to specific groups of immune cells called antigen-presenting cells, which trigger an immune response against the virus. This project aims to encourage mindfulness about maintaining interpersonal distance in shared public spaces. There are multi-user virtual reality experiences that simulate shopping in a grocery store. The virtual environment is populated with non-player characters and up to 20 concurrent live users. A dynamic viral effect that reacts to physical proximity in real time and comparative performance metrics are provided for users to reflect on after the task is completed. We present AVR system to train healthcare professionals to assemble in Speedy, an emergency pulmonary ventilator for COVID patients developed in Brazil by University of Sao Paulo. The system is composed by a conventional VR system, and each assembly step is presented by an avatar, assisted by animations, and the user receives completion status and precision feedback through controller vibrations and visual leads.
This phone-based augmented reality application provides instructions on how to use an anesthesia machine as a ventilator. This can be important when a hospital has a shortage of ventilators. The user interacts with the life-size virtual anesthesia machine and is led through the necessary steps. COVIS is a tool using data sets to compare COVID-19 pandemic trends in New York City. Users can manipulate 3D maps, regard height variance attributes of infection rates, select zip codes to identify detailed information while viewing traffic rates, add new 3D maps to the virtual environment for comparative analysis, as well as compare multiple zip code infection rates for more analysis.